Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another video like this one again. Today we're going to be talking about fenugreek seeds. Now, I want to make this into like a series on my channel, hint, hint. Um, and so whatever herbs that you guys want to know about more, cinnamon, sage, calamus, jasmine, licorice root, whatever you want to know about. But today specifically, we're going to be talking about fenugreek seeds. Now, fenugreek seeds are used magically and spiritually for increase for inviting abundance, for inviting like plentiful energy, like abundant energy, like like a lot of something, whether it's love or money or career, whatever your intention is, if you use fenugreek, it invites like plentiful, right? So I'm gonna show you guys four ways to use it in today's video. And if you're interested, let's get started. So here is what fenugreek seeds look like. They're just little tiny yellow seeds. They have a very distinct smell, uh, but this is what they look like. And this is what we're going to be working with and using. Okay, so the first way that we're gonna be using fenugreek seeds to attract money is in your wallet or in your purse or on your money altar. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep some sort of cash or coin in here. I feel like mine is pretty empty right now, but I do have a coin in here, coin of your currency or cash of your currency. You're going to put that in your wallet or your purse. And then what you're going to do, I have here four fenugreek seeds. Okay, so you're going to use four because we're uh, attracting money from all four of the elements and um, directions. So I have four here. What you're going to do is just sprinkle that right in your wallet. Then you're going to close this and you're going to put it on your altar for about a night or you can light a candle on it. Not on it because it will burn, but you can light a candle right next to it with four fenugreek seeds in there as well. A green candle or a gold or red or orange or yellow, those colors. And then after the candle is all done, burnt, and everything, you can throw the candle away. And then you're going to keep the seeds in your wallet. It might smell a little funny, <laughs> but fenugreek, I'm telling you, from my client's experience and from my experience, is the best herb to attract money with. So keep four fenugreek seeds in your wallet. The next way I want to teach you guys how to use fenugreek is to take cash currency of your, wherever you live, whatever the currency is over there. You want to take cash, okay? It could be a $1 bill, $5, $10, however, whatever, however it works for you guys. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a handful of fenugreek seeds and you're just going to put it right on top of your cash and you're going to keep this on your altar. Okay, you're going to keep it for an entire moon phase. So if you do this on the full moon, keep it until the next full moon. If you're doing it on a new moon, keep it uh, until the next new moon. Now, if you do it on the full moon, um, it's getting rid of the blocks and the blockages in your money energy. If you do it on a new moon, it's inviting money. But we have to get rid of the blocks too, right? So you're going to keep this on your altar and then on the night of the full moon or the new moon, you're going to take these seeds and you're going to put it in a potted plant or in a pot of dirt and you're going to plant it. Or you can just sprinkle it in your yard somewhere, but just keep in mind they grow really, really fast. They do give leaves that you can make food with and they do give seeds and um, they do have a very distinct smell. But... For money energy, it really, really works. So this is something that you can do for an entire moon phase. You can, you don't have to do it on a full moon or on a new moon. Do it anytime you need or anytime you want. Depending on if you want to get rid of blockages, then you're going to plant this on the full moon. Okay, I'm going to repeat that because <laughs> I don't want to get so many questions. If you want to remove blocks, then you're going to plant this on the full moon. 
If you want to invite money, then you're going to plan it on a new moon. You could do it on both as well. You could just do half, half uh, on a full moon and half on the new moon. What you're going to do with the cash is you're going to keep it either on your altar or put it back in your purse or wallet. Okay, this is very, very powerful. And um, when you plant these seeds, you want to make sure that you nurture it and you water it and it grows. Um, and the fenugreek leaves, you can cook with it. Like if you if you guys want a recipe, I have a really, really good roti. If you guys know what that is, it's like a tortilla with fenugreek leaves, like kind of like a paratha, like Indian paratha or like naan kind of. If you guys want that recipe, I will make it for you guys. And in in that way, you can use these. Well, you can't use the seeds. You can use the seeds to cook with, but not the seeds in like um, a bread or roti or like tortilla. But yeah, let me know if you guys want that. And it brings a lot of abundance when you plant this in your yard. But what I'm teaching you is to... Um, infuse it with the energy of money and then plant it in your yard. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. The next way I want to teach you guys how to use fenugreek seeds to attract money is you're going to take any green candle, orange candle, yellow candle, or gold candle. Okay, those are the colors that we want to use to attract money. So what you're going to do is if you want to, you could take a needle or a knife or something sharp and engrave your name into the candle. It, it doesn't have to be tea light. It could be a chime, birthday, jar, votive, whatever you have, but make sure it's in those colors. And then what you're going to do is take some fenugreek seeds. If you have money oil, if you have the money oil from my shop, you actually get it from my own personal batch that sits on my altar. So you, you get that oil. But anyways, you're going to take this green candle and then you're going to add some fenugreek seeds to it and then you're going to light it. However you want to prep it, you could, again, you can engrave your name into it, your birth date, money signs, um, money oil, come to me oil, um, success oil, what, whatever kind of oil you have if you want to use that. So then you're going to light this, Okay. Whatever remains when this is all lit, when it's all done, you want to put the remains and the seeds in a potted plant or sprinkle it in your yard, front yard or backyard. And um, you can also put, um, like, say if you want to increase your position at work. So if you have a certain title at your work, that's your title right now. But you engrave what title you want. If it's one step ahead or like a few steps ahead or like a CEO or a boss or what you want. What we want to do is send the signal out to the universe like, hey, we want something more. We want something better. We want more money in the bank account. We want more financial security. We want more money and abundance and materialistic wealth. Because realistically, we're human beings and we need that to survive, Right? Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can actually put your cash currency and burn your candle right on top of that. But just make sure that you keep an eye on this because we are working with herbs, probably even oils if you put oils in there. And it's on top of paper. Cash is paper, right? So make sure that you take your safety precautions when you're doing this and don't leave it unattended. But this is a very, very powerful spell to invite money into your life and to invite it in plentiful and, and abundant amount of money and clear roadblocks in money and um, kind of like excel when it comes to finan financial security and finances. It's to excel. Okay, so... That is the third way. And the last way, let's get into that one real quick. Okay, so the last way that I want to teach you guys how to use fenugreek seeds to attract money, you're going to use any cash currency. This is optional. You don't have to do this first step. Um, but what I like to do is put the seeds on top of the cash just so it kind of charges with it, infuses the energy of the fenugreek with the cash. 
whatever denominator you have, $1, $5, $10, whatever you have in your country. And then you want copper. So here in the U.S., we have our pennies, right? So what you're going to do is put the penny, leave it overnight, okay? And then you're going to take these seeds and you're going to sprinkle it in your yard. But just remember, because they do grow into like, it looks like little tiny, like, fern leaves. Like, it looks, it's just tiny leaves. You can use the leaves, like I said, to cook with or whatever. But what you want to do is have these grow in your yard, front yard or backyard, or a potted plant, either in the front or back or inside of your house. So you're going to take these, you're going to do it for one night, two night, however many night you want, however long you want to leave it. And then you're going to take the seeds and you're going to plant it with copper. If you're in the United States, you have the, your copper penny. But anywhere else, if you don't have copper, uh, if you don't have copper, I would recommend for you to use aventurine crystal or pyrite crystal or citrine crystal and plant that with it. So you don't have to put the seeds on the dollar. You can actually just plant it with the crystal or with just the copper. But I just wanted to show you guys an extra step. And it brings a lot of abundance and it, it removes blockages from money. The fenugreek uh, metaphysical, spiritual, magical property is pure abundance. Just plentiful and a lot. Okay, so what we're doing is we want money, right? So we want to bring, in, bring that in in plentiful. We want to bring that in in abundance. We want to bring it in in lo like lots and lots, right? It's very, very easy to grow. It grows really fast, the seeds, when you plant it. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know what other herbs that you guys want me to talk about. Um, like any herb, you guys, let me know. Valerian, catnip. Um, licorice root, I'm looking at my apothecary right now, tulsi, rose petals, cumin, peppermint, fenugreek, well fenugreek we did today, cinnamon, whatever you guys want to know, let me know um, and I could do videos on how to use these things spiritually to help uh, in manifestation, like spiritually and manifestation, you know, um, herbs do help. Um, alongside with mental health. You have to have your mental health right and in order to do any spell, you guys. Um, that's something that I try to push out as much as I can, you guys. Um, your mind has to be right because no matter what herb you use, these are powerful ingredients. Don't get me wrong. They will manifest, okay? But the most, most, most powerful ingredient is our mind. It's an ingredient. It is an ingredient. It's a powerful ingredient. The most powerful ingredient. So I want to keep pushing that out. Um, also, I know a lot of you guys be asking about my jewelry. So this right here is <laughs> amethyst I got from some, I think it was a Goddess Provisions box a few weeks ago or months ago. But this one right here is my Lakshmi. And I like to keep Lakshmi close to my heart. And if you guys want the Lakshmi uh, necklace, it's on my shop and it will not leave or, or it leaves my altar, then it comes to you. It stays on my altar until it comes to you. And Lakshmi is my biggest and main um, feminine energy that I work with. She and I have like, oh, I love her. I love her to death. And so I work with her all the time. And so if you guys want this necklace right here, this one right here. Uh, head over to my shop, but apart from that, 
use fenugreek. Offer to, even to Lakshmi. I offer my Lakshmi fenugreek all the time. I give her um, cash and coins in my currency and then I put fenugreek in it and I give it to her as like, uh, if you guys know what Barsad is, Barsad is offering. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.